Hi, this is Jay with Go Engineer. Today I thought I would take a little time to show you how to make a drawer slide actually act like a drawer slide would in real life. Um, if you're familiar with them, they typically can be comprised of multiple pieces, but how would we in SolidWorks make this look like it was actually going to work in real life? Uh, Typically on a drawer slide, if you have a three-piece slide like we have here, if I was to slide the center section out uh, due to the rollers or the bearings in there, typically the pieces would slide and have some ratio or correlation uh, that they're going to move with regard to each other. So in this assembly, I have this part fixed and these two inner pieces can move independently, but they're not moving with like I said, respect to each other. So uh, the best way to set this up would be to use some limit mates. So we know that the, the drawer slide can only go so far. Um, at this point, what's going to happen is this drawer slide will have a total motion of 10 inches. And so what I'm going to do is set up a distance mate between the center section and this outer section. So first of all, I want to get everything set back to zero. So I'm going to apply some mates and just for positioning purposes only, I'll hit mate and we'll use for positioning only. Now what this does, this will move the components to a position, but once it does that, then the mate is automatically deleted. So it's kind of convenient for this type of uh, work. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say that this face and this face are coincident hit OK, and I'm also going to add another mate between this face and this face, and say OK. Now notice what will happen is it added these mates, but when I go back to my assembly, those mates don't exist anymore. So these are actually free to move. So that's, that's kind of a useful tool, because I didn't actually want those mates there. <clears throat> so let's add a distance mate. First off, I want this brown part to move five inches this way with regard to this fixed outer part. So under mates, uh, let's go to our advanced mates folder. Let's select our distance mate. And just to show you how this works, I'm going to leave this to one right here. I want this part to move five inches and have a zero distance when it comes back. So between this face and this face. All right, now it kind of defaulted back to one. Uh, if I have this at zero and I hit okay, if we edit this, let's change this to zero here and bring that back. So we're gonna move five inches in, a minimum distance of zero and our set distance right here, we want that to be zero also. Okay, we'll zoom out just a second. Let's take a look here and see what we got. So we've got a mate that allows this to move five inches, but how would I correlate this piece here to move a total of five inches away as I drag the center piece out? Let's go to the other end of our slide. On this end of our slide, we'll use what's called a linear coupler. So under advanced mates, right next to the distance mate is this little mate right here. Um, if you've ever looked at it and wondered how to use it, we'll go ahead and show you. So let's use a linear coupler mate. Um, it's very easy to use. Notice the color coding. We're going to have a light blue and a purple. I'm going to select faces. So I'm going to say the entity to mate in here is going to be this center face, and I want to mate it to this brown face. Now notice that it turned light blue and purple. The other thing I want to notice, I want you to notice, is that there is a ratio here. So on this slide, I only want it to move out 10 inches. So you may have to do some math in your ma uh, models that you're doing, but for here, I'm going to say that I want this to move a ratio of 2 to 1 with regard from this face to this face. And that's simply all I have to do to make this model an example work. So I hit apply, hit OK again. And I've got a distance mate and a linear coupler mate. Now, when I move 
the brown piece, if you remember. Now I get motion with regard to the brown piece. All right, so for every inch that this is moving, the green piece on the inside is moving twice as far, and that's where the ratio comes in. So as you can see, it makes a nice assembly. Now you could add this assembly if you wanted to. You could add this to your finished assembly and make the subassembly flexible. So I hope you found this helpful. That's the use of a limit distance mate and a linear coupler to create a drawer slide. Make sure you go to the Go Engineer website for the Ask Joe section and also to YouTube Go Engineer's video channel there for more helpful tips and tricks. Thanks for watching. This has been Jay with Go Engineer.